Hello everyone, firstly, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am gonna be making more videos on process and my work and that type of thing. So definitely subscribe if you are interested in learning more about that and learning more about design in general. Today, I wanna talk to you about the process of how I created Kess's live album artwork called We Home and basically that album came out in 2020 and how that whole thing came about was I actually posted an illustration of Kess on Instagram. He happened to see it and he DM'd me saying he wanted to work on, work on something in the future, blah 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 and we got to talking and that's sort of how our professional relationship began. That illustration that I posted of Kess was done in like February of 2020 and by June he had reached out to me over WhatsApp and we began talking. He gave me the concept of the album and basically we came together, we had a brainstorm. He gave me some concepts and some ideas that he had and that he was playing around with. And from there, I then went back, started sketching ideas. I spent, I think the total process of this job took about three weeks. Maybe the first week and a half was just working on sketches. So I sketched a lot of different concepts and ideas and that type of thing in my sketchbook, which I then transferred into Procreate. And in Procreate, I then worked on slightly more refined sketches that I presented to Kess and his team. At no point would they have seen the sketches in my sketchbook. That was more just like thumbnail sketches for myself to work with they would have seen the more refined sketches that, that was done in Procreate. Overall, I presented seven different concepts and seven different sketches to Kess and his team. They chose two that they wanted me to refine a bit more. And basically, I took those two sketches that they liked back into Procreate, added some color, refined it a little bit more based on some feedback that they had. And then maybe about three days after that, I sent back those color sketches to Kess and his team. They then chose the one that they liked the most and from there that's how we developed what is now you would have seen as the finished album artwork. Just in terms of how I actually executed the album artwork. Basically I created a 40 inch by 40 inch artboard in Procreate which limits you to the amount of layers that you have. So I basically drew every single element on its own artboard and then I exported it into Photoshop and basically built everything back up into Photoshop. So. Each layer was done in Procreate and each sort of element, so the house was, was illustrated on its own, uh, Kess was illustrated on its own, the hammock was illustrate, illustrated on its own and from there basically I rejoined everything in Photoshop because you have a bit more, um, you have a bit more play with the amount of layers that you could have in Photoshop as compared to Procreate. Once I presented more or less what the final version was, there were a few things that had to be refined, we refined the typography a little bit. After we finished the final main album, there was I think the launch period of the, of the album was going to be like a month and they were going to release four singles in the lead up to the release of the finished album. And so I worked with Kess and his team once again and to design four different single covers for each of these singles, there was Savannah Grass, Fallen, Hello and Magic. That was a lot of fun as well because it kind of enabled me to build out this world, this sort of animated, illustrated world. Um, I worked with the animator Mixi Gobin. He helped me a lot with the, he, he created all these um, GIF files and that type of thing to kind of add some movement and some motion into the artwork. The album release also coincided with a live streamed concert which was streamed on YouTube as well as some local television stations. And what was really cool is seeing the how the artwork translated into the set design. So it was it was really really interesting to see what was done to create this set based on this illustrated world that I created. In the end, this project will always be really special to me. It was such a cool project to work with Kess and his team. And pretty much the best part was that I ended up winning a Gold Addy Award in illustration, which is a huge honor. So. That's just testament to how good the whole team worked together to bring this to life. Working with Kess and his team was a lot of fun. We didn't have a lot of time to put this thing together. So there had to be really good lines of communication between all the parties involved because the turnaround time on this was literally like three weeks. So, and that was from initial meeting to having the artwork completed was a three week period. 
And interestingly enough, the most amount of time was taken up on creating sketches and coming up with ideas and that kind of thing. Once, once we had the concept locked in, it was really just a matter of just executing it, which took maybe four or five days. Seen the artwork on Spotify, on Apple Music, on YouTube, on all these different media has been really cool because obviously as an as a artist, as an illustrator, as a designer, it's always better to see your work go in the distance and go in having that mileage to basically be seen by more people around the world, locally, regionally, that kind of thing. So I love that a lot of people saw that work and really liked it. Working in Procreate on the on the iPad Pro using the Apple Pencil is really really cool and it is it gives you so much ability to to use it as though you're actually drawing. So that's the tool that I use predominantly in this project to sort of get my ideas across and also to do the finished piece. Having the opportunity to work with an international artist like Kess has really always been sort of a dream of mine. So actually being able to do it and the fact that it all came across just because I posted an illustration of Kess on Instagram is such like a serendipitous thing. But it just shows that like if you just create work, post work, opportunities will come your way eventually. So I think there's a lesson to be learned there and I had a lot of fun working on this and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment if you have any questions, I will get back to you. And make sure to check out WeHome on Apple Music or Spotify, wherever you stream your music.